It all started when my mom met my dad and they fell in love and they had me. My name is Ryan and my life is pretty crazy. And today we're gonna see the whole journey of Ryan the ball python. This is crazy right here. You know, Vlad the legless lizard's already wild, but take a look at this. It actually sheds like a snake. Look at that, that is crazy. And he still has some shed on him right here. I don't know if we're gonna have to soak him or what. I have never seen it before. With snakes, I know exactly what to do. With this guy, I'm not 100% sure. So look at him rotisserate around as I'm doing it. It's such a weird animal. Oh my God. Yeah, so we'll probably put them in a box with like a moist towel or something like that. That way we don't want to necessarily soak them in water, but some moisting. It's just that spot right from here to here still has shed on it, but the rest shed out like a snake. I had no idea they even did this. This is weird, you know? That is bizarre, that's for sure. But we'll get the rest of the shed off and uh, get this guy going. Do you want a dog or a flower? It's been 30 days since the eggs have been in incubation, which means we're halfway through. So far, the clutch looks absolutely amazing. Speaking of amazing, look at this pied muserana rat snake. I absolutely love this animal. Okay, you're, all right, stand up, stand up straight. You're all right, you're all right. I'm right here with you. You got an open mic there, Jose. So, all right, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. And then I'm done, I'm done. Hurry up, hurry up. Here is the whole app. I mean, I only see those, you know what I'm saying, on YouTube from a distance. But I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. How many people get in here? Oh my god, I'm afraid of snakes. And by the time they leave, a lot of them are different animals out, and you'll walk up, you'll hold a lizard, yep. smaller snakes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just went next door to thaw a pig, and I come back, and there's police officers here who got in trouble. Come here, Billy the Frilly. This is, of course, my Australian feral dragon. And it's been 56 days since the eggs have been incubating. Tomorrow is the big day. And no matter how many clutches I have or cut, I'm always super excited just to see because every single egg, you never know what you're going to get. You're either going to get that all gene animal, or maybe you're even going to get a surprise that you weren't expecting. Big job today, clean baby Kush is enclosure. So we're doing a whole kind of full revamp. That was gonna babysit. Got some fish for baby Kush. Whoa, whoa, oh my. Wait, you gotta get them all the way out and back in with that. Oh, did you see the way he used his front legs like that? All right, Mike, hurry up now. That's my cue. First, I'm gonna suck out all the dirt. This might take a little while, but step one. Juicy fish. I'm ready for him to be done now. So a lot of dirt, so gone. Before we get into the egg cutting, I had one of the most crazy things that ever happened to me. This was actually a black pastel lesser woma, period, bred to a killer leopard clown ball python. Now the black pastel woma lesser was not head for anything or we didn't think it was. I thought I was gonna produce a bunch of cool combos that would be head for clown. Well, guess what happened? We produced clowns. That's right, this female somehow was head for clown. Now going back on the lineage, she had nothing to do with clowns. So it was just a spontaneous thing that she would happen to be head for clown. And we happened to put a clown to her, absolutely incredible. This is what they would call a black pewter clown. So this is a pastel, it's a black pastel, and it's a clown ball python. Look at how incredible it is, but this is the least incredible animal in the clutch. We did add a couple just kind of really pretty animals, like a black pewter lesser right here, and this is actually a woma lesser here, but this is when it gets really crazy. I produced this. Now, I don't even know what this is. I'll be honest with you. I think that it might be a clown of some sort, but I'm not sure because it doesn't have the striping down its back. If you guys have a guess down in the comments, I would love to hear it because I don't know what this animal is right here. It's got to be a clown of some sort because of the head pattern, but I have never seen one anything like this, so I don't know exactly what it is. I could use your help. And then take a look at this one right here. Wow, that is actually a pastel leopard woma clown ball python. Look at the striping down that right there. And then guys, we got this one here, the creme de la creme, all gene animal right here. This is actually a pastel, black pastel, woma, lesser, leopard, and a clown ball python. All gene animal, probably a world's first. I don't know, but this animal shouldn't have came out of this clutch, and I am beyond on stoke that it did. Look at how beautiful that animal is. That's why we do this, is for the surprises like this. This clutch made my entire year. Might be one of the coolest clutches and certainly the biggest surprise I've had all year long. Oh, that was cool. What? It's a tooth. Hoof. Ow. Short. That's a small one. It's got a curve to it. It's bending a little bit to the right, and the sides are serrated. Aren't you supposed to be washing, Kush? I'm, well, uh, this is part of him, isn't it? Yeah, but where is he? Kush. So it's day 57. They're about to hatch. They're definitely all desiccated, meaning that they're ready to come out, and there should be some absolute rippers in here. In theory, the majority of them should be orange dream or super orange dream. Then you've got all kinds of pastel pinstripe. I mean, it's going to be amazing. Egg number one. I have been excited about this. 
clutch since the day it was laid and right off the rip, oh my gosh, this is definitely weird. Out of everything that could hatch, the first one comes out to be a normal orange dream. It does look like an orange dream, but that's it. No other genetics. That is absolutely unbelievable. But hey, we have a bunch of eggs in this clutch. And it's interesting because these eggs are so close to hatching that as I'm pinching on them, the snake is pushing back. So I have to be a little bit careful when I'm cutting. So very gently, I'm gonna cut on the very top of this egg and see what's in it. Let's hope we get a little bit better odds than this last one. Looks like, uh, okay, what do we have here? Just gonna cut this a little bit here. Ooh, another kind of bad odds animal here. This is actually an orange dream spider. So we've missed pastel, we've missed super orange dream, we've missed the spinner, we've missed the pinstripe. So it's been kind of a bad start, but we still have two, four, six, seven eggs. With seven eggs, we gotta hit some bangers in this clutch. And by the way, this may be the last clutch of eggs that I'm cutting for the entire year. So we wanna end the year really on a bang, right? And maybe I will, but here we go. Egg number three. Let's get some beautiful orange dream stuff in here. Okay, this is a little bit better. This is actually a bumblebee orange dream because orange dream is on both sides you're getting a lot of expressions of orange dreams right in theory three out of four should be orange dream and then one out of four should actually be a super orange dream and the potential of getting non-orange dreams are pretty slim although it still has a potential here but let's just keep on moving on i'm really hoping for some super orange dream stuff so let's see what we have Done with all the bedding, scrubbed all the urates or whatever else was on the floor. I'm gonna go through and make sure all the glass is super nice and clean from the inside. I can always clean the outside later. I am kind of hungry. My step closer. <laughs> Mike, did you get all the bedding out, buddy? I did. We're gonna glass now. There's uh, in the, underneath the log, there's some urates. Oh. Yeah. Thanks, I missed that. Yeah, this looks like you got a lot of work to do, so. Uh, I'm working on it. Mike's working hard over there. Kush, you, you got it, Kush? I'm gonna go get him some bedding. Mike, keep an eye out for Kush. Keep on going, egg number four. What do we have here? Ooh, it looks pretty, whatever it is. Wow, what the heck is this? Okay, we've got a little bit of a, a wrinkle here. This is a banana. So that means it has to have retained sperm from last year, which is kind of a bummer because it has retained sperm, means that there might not be as much orange dream stuff. Now the question is, what's going on? The first three eggs obviously had spider in them, meaning that it was probably the stinger orange dream male that fathered them. This one actually looks like a spinner and a banana. But wait a second, hold the phone here, guys. Look at these dark spots right here. What I think is going on is this could potentially be a spinner blast super orange dream. And what happens there is it's got an extreme reduction of pattern, making almost giving the appearance of a banana. So I happen to think that that actually isn't a banana. Now we'll find out if we hatch any other bananas and anything else, because then we would have some retained sperm from last year. But so far, I think we actually might've hit the all gene animal, which of course is the pastel spider pinstripe super orange dream, which would be absolutely incredible. Let's move on to the next egg and see if we can get this mystery solved. Here we go. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful here. That is just a lemon blast orange dream. So not a super orange dream, but an orange dream and a lemon blast, which is a pastel and a pinstripe. We still have four eggs to go and we've already hit a couple really nice animals. That one I think is the all gene, which is beautiful. Let's hope we get some more crazy stuff. <laughs> Aw, oh, no, you brought me dirt? Oh my goodness, this thing had wheels the whole time. I can't tell what's on the inside and what's on the outside. That's how glass works. <laughs> you want me to just chuck it in there? Is that not what you wanted? Why would you throw it in? Look at Kush! Oh my god. He's gonna climb up the wall. Awesome. <laughs> this is freaking awesome. Oh! Not so cool now. <laughs> Wow, look, look how incredible, incredible that looks. Here we go. Oh, this is pretty. Look at that, look at this. Wow, that is beautiful. And if you see the difference between these two animals here, I think it's the same exact animal. It just is a little bit lighter. The first one's probably a pastel, and this one is a non-pastel. So this is actually a spinner super orange dream. So it's a spider, it's a pinstripe, and it's a super orange dream. And look at how incredible. Incredible. That animal looks whoo doggy. That is what I want to get out of this clutch. Three more eggs. And will these be the last three eggs of the year that I cut? 
it's possible guys again let me know in the comments what you think also while you're down there do me a favor subscribe to the channel this happens to be just a spinner ball python probably a single gene of orange dream possibly a normal i told you there's a possibility to not have orange dream i don't see a lot of expression of orange dream in here but until it hatches out you really see that on the head pattern when it comes to orange dream and spider but this is definitely a pinstripe and a spider two more eggs i am definitely going to be missing cutting egg with that being said we are literally just a few weeks away from putting males and females back together for another breeding season what do we have here it's a really pretty snake right here again another bumblebee orange dream we've only gotten two super orange dreams so far and again with eight or nine eggs on average you're only going to get about two super so we're really kind of right on track but let's hope we can end the last egg in this clutch and potentially last egg of the year that we're going to be cutting with a super orange dream something banging come on let's end it good guys let's go let's go nope doesn't look like we ended it that way but we did end it with it looks like a pastel orange dream so all in all i can't complain really beautiful animals in this clutch we've got a couple bangers coming out so guys that's potentially the end of egg cutting for the season i'll update you guys when these are out of the eggs speaking of out hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos you can also hit that subscription button it would mean a lot to me also hit that like button while you're down there have a wonderful day reptile army remember really the glass you gotta get it on the glass.